Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. Thank you so much for joining me once again. I'm your host, Chris. And tonight, guys, we are finally getting to it. This beer has been at the top of my list of beers to review for two years now, for as long as the show's been running. This, my friends, is the St. Bernardist App 12, which is a Belgian quadruple 10% alcohol by volume, available year-round pretty much everywhere. And I've gotten more requests for this beer than I think any beer that, you know, is out there. And a lot of people want to know, is this as good as Westie 12? This gets compared to Westie 12 a lot because during World War II, these two breweries kind of collaborated and helped each other. Um, this is a very similar recipe. The yeast strain is actually a different yeast strain. It's actually the original um, Vestretter and yeast strain, believe it or not. So... Without further ado, let me get into a glass that you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict. And is it as good as Westy 12 on the St. Barnardus App 12? All right, guys, so the appearance on the St. Barnardus 12, well, it's that classic, classic quad look. And to me, it always looked like Coca Cola, um, hazy as hell to dark brown. It's just this dank, unappealing looking beer that you can't see anything through. This is a bottle conditioned beer. Um, there was two to three fingers worth of a really, really tight white, um, off white head on there. It's rocky, it's dissipating really quickly, but you guys can see the lacing on this thing and that is from the bottle conditioning. It's just a classic, classic world-class example of what a you know quadruple should look like. This is it. All right guys, the aroma on the St. Bernard is 12. Yeah, again, just a, a classic, world-class example. You want to smell what dark fruit smells like in a beer? This is it. It basically smells like raisins, prunes, and figs coated in brown sugar and then just squeezed into the beer. And that's really, really the best descriptor I can give you. There's a graininess. You definitely smell the alcohol in there, but it helps to cut that sweetness from the dark fruits. But yeah, I mean, just the, the dark fruits just dominate, dominate this beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the St. Bernardus 12. Cheers. It, it, the, I'll tell you, the beautiful part about this beer, right at the front of the tongue, your tongue is assaulted, dare I say assaulted, by carbonation. And the really awesome part about that is it just pops the palate open, gets the palate ready for every single sip that you take in here, and it allows the flavor to kind of soak in. And what are those flavors, you ask? Well, middle of the mouth, wow. I mean, it's huge. It's rum-soaked raisins, brown sugar, plums, figs, just streaming, just streaming into the palate on this one. Tons of mouthfeel, nice biscuit, that Belgian breadiness really coming through. It is just an amazingly easy to drink beer at 10%. And like I said, just a perfect world-class example of what a, what, a, what a quadruple should taste like. Just epic, epic stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the St. Bernardus App 12, 10% alcohol by volume, available year-round. It's available in these four packs or in 750s, which is the more common form of this, I found out. This beer gets an A for me. Um, it's just a world-class example of what a quadruple should taste like, and I really, really appreciate beers like that. The better question is, how does it stack up to Westy 12? For me, Westy 12 and this are you know, basically on the same playing field. The one advantage that I will give to St. Bernardus 12 is that it's a easy to get year round beer in the US. It's so much more consistent than Westy 12 is. Westy 12, depending on bottle to batch to batch to bottle or whatever, it just, it's gonna vary in the carbonation and the flavors. Some are infected, some aren't. I've never had a bad bottle of this. It's easy to drink, but it's an aggressive, big, multi beer. Um, and it, it, it demands appreciation, but at the same time, it wants you to enjoy it. So it's just, it's this dude right here. This dude is having a great time drinking this beer. So with that said, guys, St. Bernardus 12, is it better than Westy 12? Is it the same as Westy 12? I think it's on the same playing field as far as the flavor, aroma, and everything. You're not going to go wrong with this. Um, so with that said, it's going to get an A for me, world-class stuff. Definitely check it out if you've never had it. Pick it up. So with that said, remember, folks, life is too short. Pretty amazing beers.